President Trump landed back in Washington at 2.08 this morning after a whirlwind campaign trip. Tonight, we're told he'll watch the returns at the White House as he prepared for the possibility of Democrats taking back the House. Here's ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, tonight. He's campaigned hard, and now President Trump is back at the White House, waiting for returns. He has said he has no idea how it's all going to turn out. You know what you do? My whole life. You know what I say? Don't worry about it. I'll just figure it out. Does that make sense? I'll just figure it out. He's been all in. I did a lot of stops. I saw a lot of people. I saw a lot of Make America Great Again hats. 30 rallies in 20 states since Labor Day. His closing message has been big on fear of illegal immigration. If you want more caravans and more crime, vote Democrat. Over and over again, he surged his voters. Democrats could take back the House. Oh, he is absolutely prepared for the possibility of a Democratic takeover. In fact, his political advisors are telling him that that is likely to happen. And the clearest indication of that is I'm told the president is now telling his advisors and his supporters, don't say that I am on the ballot because I am not. After weeks of saying, pretend I'm on the ballot. Exactly. Big change. All right, John Carl with us here tonight. John, thanks so much. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.